The winds of the bitter internecine warfare that blow over the lands to the north are not as violent here along the fertile shores of the Yangtze River. But the winds of change have been felt, and with them, the wise words of Confucius and the way of the Tao have arrived. According to royal geomancers, this location, evidently the site of an ancient temple, would be a most excellent place to establish a new city. If a Confucian academy is constructed and shrines built for the followers of the Tao, your city's upper class will no doubt take residence in rather impressive compounds. Ensure that your humble citizens give proper respect to Confucius and to our ancestor heroes, for then it is very likely that they will be justly rewarded. Yes, they will be because we're on Ying in Emperor. Um, 24 months of heroes, that's two years, that's pretty long, and a hundred people in impressive compound or better. Yes, we have two new religions in this one, let's go to the city. Pause. Um, the map isn't very big, um, there's only this bit over here, and this bit on the left. There's no real point crossing the river, there's nothing to find on this bottom shore, just a bit of hunting and that's about it. But there's fish, hunting, and there's two farm types, cabbage and rice paddies, so we've got four food types in the map anyway. Um, I'm not going to provide um, hunted food to uh, my common housing, which will be on this side along with the industry and other farms and all that. Um, the, they'll be provided with the cabbage, rice paddy and the fish, because there's plenty of space down along the bottom here. Uh, so we're down here at Ying, just here. We've got uh, Pingyang and all our other cities as well as Kufu and Anyan trading with us as always. Um, I don't think I need to buy silk. No, I had to wait to open a trade route for that. Got a lot of starting funds. Actually, no, 13 pounds isn't that lot of much at all. So I'm going to have to start getting uh, a silk set up just in this bit here. Um, luckily, we don't have to build a monument, which is actually fairly good. Um, but these goals, there's only two of them, but we've got a lot um, to do to get the 24 months of heroes. I'll talk about Daoism and Confucianism a bit later because there's no real point talking about it anymore. So I'm going to use this space for a big common block, maybe two blocks, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'll do maybe a block there. Actually, considering the amount of space and the amount of workers we'll need, I'll put one block here and then another one just in this space down here with a bit for six impressive compounds just up here. Yeah, up in this kind of spacey kind of area here, so there's plenty of space for it. Uh, so I'll go and plan out the common block. I'm not bothering about elite because there's no um, uh, military action here, so you're okay in the form of that. But we'll, we might start up an industry if we really need um, to do that because I think we can import um, bronze from a city somewhere around here, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'll go and plan out this block and see how it turns out. So here's the housing block, I managed to get it all in. Um, you'll notice that I've had to put a wall, um, a road side to let that through. Um, basically the way I've constructed this has the wall basically blocking that exit point. So I have to make sure that that little bit there is not blocked otherwise the Kingdom Road will be blocked because there's no way for them to get up across this bit to get there so I have to ensure that that's kept there. The only way I could really keep that blocked is if I had that open and they had to go down and around this bit to get out, which is a bit long. Um, I put this up here, the mill, unfortunately that is bad feng shui uh, because it's associated with wood, but I like that kind of area because in a way it kind of just makes a center point for everything. So I put that there and it just keeps it out of the way out of this very cramped area. Um, I haven't put the farms down yet, obviously, because I need to uh, put them down. Well, let's let the, si the city run. Um, I'm going to have all the silk produced up here all the farms down here. Maybe a space just over here for some ceramics. I'm not going to go full light with ceramics in this one. Um, I haven't put down everything. Uh, this Deo's shrine has to be near Earth. Um, like the... Um, like the... These things. The yeah, fire and Earth. They have to be close to that. Um, early on, what I'll advise you to do is not bother with Deoism unless you want a Deoist hero. If I go and look at the heroes, We've only got Nuwa, Shenrog and Confucius, therefore it's actually no point providing Daoism shrines because there are no gods who um, are available for Daoism. And to be honest with you, providing Daoism to common blocks at this early stage, I'll just slow the game down for a bit, uh, providing Daoism uh, to common blocks is worthless because um, 
the house it needs Deism or Buddhism and then T to evolve to luxury apartment which makes it redundant to provide um, anything above uh, to perform while we're providing anyone with um, Deism at this early stage anyway so um, had some obviously because of where the earth stuff is it's really difficult to get all this placed um, this road going down here is going to lead to a little bridge that allows us to get to this bit here. I'm going to have all my main farms headed down here-ish. It is a tight squeeze, I have to say, for getting all these farms in. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. That just fits in there nicely. And we'll provide them with... We'll just speed this up a little bit. Cabbage, that'll go well there. It's all got fertility. So I'll try and get as many farms as I can in this bit. It's not going to be easy. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go with one cabbage and one rice paddy. As you know, rice paddies can't be near um, earth, so I'm going to have to use much of the space to put out some rice paddies. This space up here, I'll try and just cram as many silk farms in as I can, as and when it's needed. So let's just let this run. Um, I haven't provided all the buildings yet. Let's see. Herbless stall. These are going to be really difficult to place because of the Feng Shui requirements. Um, so let's see if I can just find a good place for this. Um, see anyone over here? Nope. Let's go with that. That's bad Feng Shui. What a pain in the bloody neck this is. Yeah, unfortunately, this is a real pain in the neck mission for... Because it's basically introducing you to building a city in a really crammed map. I mean, the goals are ridiculous, in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, no Hong Di, so there's obviously no invasions, so there's nothing to worry about. I am not going to bother with Confucius, the Great Sage. Um, I didn't really mention about Confucianism, uh, the Confucian Academy. Don't bother putting this in common housing blocks. Uh, Confucianism is only required for elite blocks. I kind of mentioned it in Erla Tao, um, the first one. Um, but I'll go into detail about it here. Don't bother providing uh, common housing with Confucianism access because they don't need it. And in fact, the Confucian coverage meter only takes into account the coverage in elite blocks. So you might put one down in an elite block and it'll say excellent. Uh, that's simply because of the fact that common housing does not need it. So. We'll just have to let the harvest come in, obviously. Um, let's see, can I get... Um, oh, for sake, bad harmony for these bloody hemp farms. Considering I've already got bad harmony anyway, considering that the... Hang on, so let's see. One, two, three... No. I'll put one there. A single hemp farm down. For now, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. So I'll put this hemp farm here. I'm not sure where I'll be able to put other ones, so that's the only problem. There's not much space, and all of this will be half. I'll have to put down a cabbage farm, well, a rice paddy there, and a cabbage farm just at the end, and then cram the space with as many silk farms as I can. I might have to, I think, considering the tightness of the space. I'll have one rice and cabbage farm on this side, and I'll put another one on this side, but I think this one will do enough for now. Um, since we don't have a menagerie goal, nor a military, I'm just going to bother, not really going to bother with much other than this. So our housing has evolved, we just need to let the harvest come in to be honest with you. Um, so cabbage, um, let's see, rice. And I'll put fish in there as well. So this will have the three food types for here. I'll then put a separate mill over here for the fourth food type. This space log here I'm just going to fill with as many um, fishing keys as I can. But I'm going to try and boost the employment in the city first because unfortunately there's not much space for it because it's all this bad feng shui area. So obviously I'm not going to be able to flood this whole area in housing. Which is a bit of a pain. Um, I did leave a gap there for a Deoist shrine just to kind of show you where it has to go but we're not going to provide anyone with Deoism at all and to be honest with you I've won a lot of missions without bothering to provide Deoist access to be honest with you so what I'll do is I'll put the acrobat school there or there it doesn't really matter because that's all bad function for housing anyway so let's do one two 
three. That's bad feng shui for houses anyway, so let's see, can we get one, two, three, four, five. Let's move that. That was a Don't worry, uh, I'm very herbalist yeah. stall. Let's see, can we find any good feng shui? Nope. What I'll do is redraw the road a little bit and have it go this way instead. Actually, what I'll do is I'll destroy that little hole, do it like this instead, and just kind of cram all the housing I can into this one space. <laughs> if I can do that, that's bad feng shui. Oh, what a pain in the bloody neck. That means there's barely any extra housing in this block. I might have to just violate the feng shui stuff and just say fuck it and just kind of spam housing everywhere anyway. I'm not sure how well that would work. Um, it's because everything's so close to this ramp area that's so annoying. I mean it's so close that it makes it difficult to really evolve everything because everything is so close to earth materials which we don't want. Obviously. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of maybe forgo, if I really need the the housing, I'll just forgo the feng shui stuff and just spam housing everywhere where I can. Just delete that. Like so. So we've got a bit of rice in stock, we'll have some cabbage soon, which is good. I'm gonna have a warehouse up here accepting hemp. I'm gonna start on the money making enterprises in a minute, don't worry. So we've got Plenty of rice coming in, which is good. Everything's working at peak efficiency. Uh, I'll go and just put this food shop down right now, and I might as well just put a hemp shop as well. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll go with one hemp... Well, we'll have two hemp farms, obviously, but the food farms I'll put... Obviously, the one that I've, that I've got there, I'll put an extra one or two just in a space, maybe just down in this corner here, wherever there's space, really, because this is such a cramped map. I don't like it at all. What I'll do is extend this and put a second hemp farm. So one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll go with two hemp farms on this side and then just leave the rest of the space for silk. Um, let's see if we put, if we destroy some of these trees that'll help. Just destroy this kingdom road mostly and do a somewhat of a loop. with the bad function of the trees, just clear the trees. We don't really need that many trees here, we're not building a monument, so it's okay. Let's put that there, and accept silk. If I put that there, that should be okay, so if I just do no festival, don't care. Just let's go with one, two, three. That fits, I could put an oversupply of silk if I need to, so if I put, so one, two, one, two, let's do it like that. I'll just have to kind of spam the farms in an awkward way, it looks like. Let's put down Weaver, like so, and if I just kind of extend this down like so. I might actually mix the kiln stuff into this area. Maybe just put like a couple of kilns along this side bit here, and just provide all the ceramics up here as well, I don't know. I mean, it's such a, as I said, it's such a tight map, this is really hard to think about where everything's going. And so let's see. One, two, one, two, and two. The reason I'm carrying is to make sure that there's um, plenty of um, space, but I think that's too many. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Let's just drag it along there and be done with it there. I'll put a roadblock there. Let's see. Um, I just have to try and fit as many farms as I can in this space, to be honest with you. And so, one, two, three, one, two, three. Some space. Let's put a mulberry farm down. I mean, I could barely fit a few into this space, I mean, it's so cramped. Um, I might have to move the head farm later. I might move it over here and just have like two little groups of housing and all that and just see how it works. Uh, so I had to let the hemp come in obviously. Once I've stabilised hemp over here I'll be able to move some of it over this side as well. 
I really hate this map. I mean, it's, I mean, in a way, it's a good test of seeing how you're able to build a city that is so crammed in. And, oops, I put that in the wrong place. That should be there. Maximise the space. Yeah, if I um, delete this hemp farm later, I can fit a silkworm shed in there. I'll also be able to get one just in this crammed up corner. It's not going to leave much space for anything else. So that's the only problem. I mean, there's bad feng shui for... I mean, all I'm going to have to do is destroy all the trees and just uh, leave this treeless and just kind of put the hemp and other stuff over here. Just there's plenty of trees and rocks on this side as well, so it's not like it's a big deal. Uh, let's provide musician access as well, since that's just available to us. Um, let's see. Let's put it there. <clears throat> Pardon me. We've got some unemployment, which is good. People coming in, which is what we want. So let's just get this silk out. I'm going to send off a diplomatic request to Wu, just because I know that they buy silk anyway. It's a cheap and easy route to get set up. I think we're out of the bronze. You know, no, no, we're still got bronze here, so we're still, we're still got, we're still in the bronze era. Sorry, I thought we were out of it, but no, I know the next mission we end it in uh, the bronze era. Um, so I need to get um, a tax collector down soon. The reason I'm putting down um, this is so I can give silk to the gods. Now, one tip, uh, well, not a tip really. Um, only the ancestor heroes get angry. Um, Confucius, the, well, the Confucius gods, the Daoist gods, and the Buddhist gods don't get less than contented, and they will always be contented. Um, you cannot pay homage to um, like Confucius, for example, unless you build a Confucian academy somewhere. Um, other, but to be honest with you, a lot of the other gods are kind of useless. I mean, one is kind of useful, but I don't really see it as being useful, to be honest with you. Um, so. I'll let this run, get some build up of hemp food and all that, and I'll come back in if anything interesting happens, maybe requests and all that. I might also start planning out this area for our elite block, I don't know. Start crossing out, maybe put down some fishing wars down here if we've got enough workers. But I'll let it run and come back in if anything interesting happens. Okay, so we've got loads of unemployment here. Our harvest has come in, but as you can see, we've got like a ridiculous amount of unemployment. So we're going to cross the nut uh, the Yangtze River, sorry, um, in a minute. I'm going to put down some of these, um, just as many as I can fit it into this little area. I mean, there isn't that much space, but there's enough space, I think, to be able to um, get this stuff sorted. Yes, job vacancy is good for it. Let's put that there. I'm just going to clear as much space as I can. I want to clear as the fewest trees possible so that I don't have um, problems with feng shui and all that. Um, let's see, can I... No, I need to destroy one bloody tree. Um, just zigzag this along like so. There we go. Just a bit zigzaggy and all that. Um, since we've got a big supply of hemp, I'm going to give Nuwa some hemp. And I'll give Shen Nong some silk in a minute. Um, we reject the trade agreement as obviously they would. Um, I'll send him a large gift of silk if I need to. Um, which I will, obviously. I just need to let this silk uh, build up in this area. Yeah, we've got some un um, workers coming in as this house has evolved. Hygiene is perfect. We'll be for it. Um, let's see. Let's cross the river. Wherever it's possible. Just destroy those trees. Get it across. Obviously, I can't build anything here because it'll just be disconnected from the main city. Just put the bridge in. That um, let's just get across here. So I'll put a second common block down here if I really need it. But up here will be like an elite block and some extra farms because I'm pretty sure we're going to need the extra farms. I might put like elite block here, farms in the middle with some housing down here, I don't know. Um, let's just plan out the elite block to be honest with you since that's one of our goals. I also know that our 24 4 Monster of Heroes goal is going to take a really long time. Because I'm going to have to keep like gods in the city for a really long time, aka two years. And since we've got a nice big supply of silk, I'm going to give it all to Wu. Because I need to get that source of money up and running quickly. Just destroy some more of these trees, just because they're getting away. For God's sake. Better. That's good feng shui there now, that's good. I'm not going to go over the top with silk, but I'm going to produce just enough to send it off. 
is good to know that. Uh, so the fish is going to stabilize our erratic cabbage supply because there isn't much um, coming from these two farms. So this will stabilize that erratic supply of food while I build up an elite block. I'll go and do that now um, and come back in once that's planned out etc etc. I'll also start up the uh, ceramics industry as well just so I could get the ceramics in stock so I could place the elite houses. Right, so I've got this all planned out. Um, I did uh, accidentally delete some trees here, which means that the house, the elite house has bad feng shui in that spot. Now, it did have good feng shui at one point, which is a shame, but never mind. I'm going to delete that mode block so as he goes up this way, because this is where I'm probably going to put like the, the mill and all that. I'll destroy some of these trees so I can put a mill in there. Um, the second housing block, if I need it, uh, will go here instead, because I'll have to use this space for farms. Uh, because it is quite tight because I've had to put in six because our goal is a hundred people in impressive compound and um, four of them won't cut it you need a minimum of five uh, to get the impressive compound goal so I'm going to build just more than is necessary just to make sure that it all works out so I'm going to put this administrative city down just drag this around it I'm going to build the wall just a bit out than it should be, like so. Um, I'm going to put hunting up here so that there's um, uh, game meat going into the supply as well. Um, let's see. I'll just go with kind of a, this and just expand it as necessary. But I need to wait for the ceramics to come into store because obviously you need ceramics to build that. Um, no more people want to come into the city and I need to evolve this housing to get more workers obviously. I mean I want to raise the rate rate but there's no point doing that. Uh, so again I build up a silk which is good. I've just got to let it really run. I've got the tax collector down obviously so we can go ahead and tax the citizens of the city for absolutely no reason. Um, trade with Wu's opened up. Yes, I sent off their request. They're all, they're all water trade route. What a pain. That means I'm going to have to water transplant this. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Uh, let's send off diplomatic requests to other cities and not really bother about um, that trade route with Wu. At least it's open. Um, Ping Yang buys silk, so we'll just send off diplomatic requests and then we send off silk in a different way. At least we've got the trade route open with Wu if we really need it. So it's a nice big supply of fish coming in here. Which is good. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I'm not sure if I could get any farm uh, fishing keys down here. I don't think I can. No point really, because there's plenty of fish in the city in any case. Ugh, they're doing that shit again where they don't go and get the ceramics and they don't put the things in the right place. And one of my fishing keys have collapsed. Two of them have collapsed. How nice. Yes, that happens in this one. They don't go the full length for some reason. Let's try this. Let's try evolving it. Does that work? Nope. It was a waste of time. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn it. Let's destroy this. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll put it there. And I will... Try this with statues. Maybe that'll make it evolve. Maybe a nice um, one of these um, will boost up a bit more. No, nope. stick bubbly then. No, nope, that's not working. So I'm not going to waste time trying to boost that up to a better one. I'm just going to have to have them separate. Like so, and have this one connected by one, and have another one for this side. That's just silly, in my opinion, but never mind. And I'll just have to put another one down this side so I have them all covered, which is stupid, as I've said, but who cares? It's the way the game wants to play it, doesn't it? I'll have to build extra uh, of these because I'm obviously going to need this supply. Um, since I've got. Um, workers, I've just realised I haven't put down all this stuff yet. The budget, the budget trade agreement is good for them. Let's just destroy some of this. Yeah, that's collapsing because it is. Let's put that there. Let's replace that. I need to make money very soon though, otherwise I'm going to be in shit, quite literally. 
I could place some stuff along here if I really need to. <clears throat> Pardon me. Since we've got some housing, let's just put uh, some of that. And again, feng shui is getting a bit annoying again. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it difficult to get good feng shui in this map because it's so tight. That's that. So we've got this all placed out. I'll put down uh, a mill here, which is going to accept fish, cabbage, rice, and gamey. And I think, for good measure, um, I will um, import food, maybe salt from Wu, and just have it going into at least here, just to have it. I mean, that works. And who's buying salt? Um, silk, sorry. I know that you, Lin, will be a land trade route, and um, so let's give them silk just because we've got a load of it. Shenong is unhappy, let's give him loads of hemp, that'll keep him happy. Got a nice big supply of food building up here. These two are providing enough food for this mill, but I need a second set of farms, which I'm gonna uh, put along this bit here, so I'll just drag the road out. Money's running out, uh, which is not good. <clears throat> These are coming in, which is good. Just got to let it kind of build up though before we do anything. Um, let's see. Hunter's tent. Get okay, one, two, three. We'll put three of them in, like so. I'll obviously um, bring a, a thing down here to provide closer hemp and silken wares and all that. I think we have to import wares from cities. I mean, we could import bronze from uh, Yulin, but I don't think there's a point in that because you have to uh, use the silk, which is point uh, the, the, the clay, sorry. One thing I haven't done is put a tax collector down um, over here and put a, a logging shed either, which is not good because we're going to have bad feng shui for it. Sod it. I'm going to have to put it down somewhere where it's... Um, when, I suppose I have to just put it way down here and hope they can leg at that distance. Um, I'll end it here. Actually, no, I'll not end it here. I'll cut ahead to once this is all stabilised and I've got my money sorted because there's nothing really much to do except wait for these houses to get uh, ceramics, which I'm not providing, involve and uh, get more workers into the city and obviously more money. I mean, we're at eight cash. I need to sell silk soon. I'll come back in when I'm starting to sell silk. I have just sold a nice bunch of silk for getting us out of debt. So I'll just sell off all the silk I make until I can stabilise the supply. Uh, this hemp farm is almost certainly going to get moved so I can put another silkworm shed just in there. Um, question is, how am I going to fit it in? Because there's obviously the space needed for the, the stupid farms. I call them stupid because they are stupid, quite literally. Uh, this, uh, where, this mill, sorry, has already got four types of food. I don't know how because it shouldn't, but never mind. That's obviously bad feng shui, so let's see. These trees are actually provided a good barrier against that, so let's just do one, two, three. Let's just get as close as we can that way. Since we've got the extra far, it. Uh, um, Funds, so we could now place these. Um, one, two, three, three, like so. And a rice paddy, like so. And then just at the end here, I can destroy some more trees and put down one, two, three, one, two, three, like so, and put a hemp farm in. Then fill this up with hemp. There we go. So that's all the food types needed. I'll destroy this because it's just going to get in the way of what I want to do which is to put um, I'm actually going to leave um, actually am I? yeah I'm going to drag the road this way and put some extra farms down this way so let's see let's get rid of that um, 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 there we go like so there we go. And I've got another uh, space for a farm in just there, which is good. And I've got space for a farm up there, which is even better. But we're out of money again, which doesn't help. As long as we can keep the supply up, we should have no difficulty providing everything. We need access to an ancestral shrine. Well, there you go. You got one. 
and I'll go around. I'm actually forget to provide hemp and ceramics. And I need silk. Let's put a silk shop down, even though they can't really do very much with it. Um, let's see, we destroy some trees. If I put a that there, and then move that by one tile. Oh, Louise suffers a famine. Um, we have the rice. We have ten rice. Um, bugger. Um, hopefully this um, will come in quickly. Um, let's see, how long do they want? Five months. Um, that'll harvest shortly and I can send that off, which will be good. Um, as I was doing here, let's put that there. Set that to getting a little hemp, not tons. And a little silk. There'll be a little supply, obviously. I will also get bronze ware. I'm going to import the bronze ware directly just to save um, funds because it's easier than importing bronze and then, you know, it's just silly. Um, so who sells bronze ware? Um, uh, Ang Ang already does that. That's good. I should have just set up a car jade industry, you know. But really, there's no space for such a thing. I would have to cram it in this corner down here, which is not happening. That's just silly. So all this housing's evolved, we need some workers. No more will the people will have come in. Obviously I could just break my feng shui requirement and or just boost the wage rate for no reason. Uh, to get the workers. So they need silk. These will be taxed shortly. Um, I'm gonna let the harvest come in once more and come back in if anything of interest happens, especially this. And I'll send that off as well. So I've planted out another one of these uh, silkworm shed. We're making very tiny amounts of money. Some houses decide to randomly devolve for apparently no reason because we're back to this bland food shit. I mean, I don't understand this glitch at all. And it's getting freaking annoying that it happens every time. It looks like something I'll just have to put up with. Uh, meanwhile, I am building out this area over here to be another housing block because um, we're really in need of workers. So why the hell did that go to go squiffy? It was difficult to get it in because this is the edge of the map, um, so it was quite difficult to get this one in uh, without getting bad feng shui. So let's just put some housing out like so. And then just destroy some of these trees. I know it's a bit close to the water, but best I could do really. And I know I think this um, market square is going to be far too far to get up here. Um, so I'm probably going to have to move the mill to somewhere more easier to reach. Maybe over here. I'm not sure. I mean, does it fit in there? I mean, it does. So I mean, I could just put it there. Uh, let's see. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put it up like this and kind of weaken it this a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's put that there and set this to what was it? Um, fish, cabbage, gay beet and rice. And we'll empty all of this like so. Get it out of there, put it over here and then we'll be able to get this going. Um, let's put down the obvious buildings. This, this, all of this crap. Just get it down. I'll have to destroy some trees, which is just pain to get that there. And then if we just put down our wall, just kind of around this bit here, and it's not going to go all the way around, I know that, because it's the edge of the map, it's never going to fit the whole distance, which is a pain. We'll leave a gap there, and just kind of do this, and then put our road there. Like so, and then that'll fit all that nicely, which is good. Just kind of flood this area in statues again. This will put me into some debt. It's okay. Ish, I hope. Just move all the food over there. And then put food, hemp, and ceramics. That should be within reach. What's our gods like, actually? They're all unhappy, which is not helpful. Let's send some ceramics, just to keep them from getting upset and sending a flood, which we really don't want, not when we're in this amount of debt. Um, if we've got the 
Um, that we can put that down. I've put the weight rate up to very high just to kind of stabilize um, stuff. The problem is that they're getting the silk so quickly that they can't take the silk back. But there's one got back, a hundred. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a lot, really, when you think about it. We're basically keeping ourselves on the edges here, quite literally. All this is perfectly fine, I think. Oh, they want a wild pig. Well, that's easy enough to say. We can just send it right now. I know it says there's zero in the city, but because a wild pig is actually one of the um, the, the hunting animal in this one, it doesn't matter that it's um, not in the city because it counts as being in the city, which is strange, but never mind. Uh, so all the food's getting transported over. That'll allow this to evolve. Obviously, is that too distant? Yes, it is. Shit. Um, I find this to be really annoying. I don't think I'll bother providing these guys with ceramics. I'll just provide them with the basic necessities and just hope it'll be enough to keep us from going into too much problems. We're still nowhere near the humble compound goal, though. Um, I'm going to let it run, maybe expand our fishing industry down this way a bit, because there's <coughs> a bit of a shortage around the city, I think. And see how it goes, um, but in the obvious things like tax collectors and all that, um, wherever they can fit, just like so. Um, but I'll let it run again and come back in if anything important happens. Oh, Yulin's got a festival. We can send off eight bolts of silk and completely empty our supply, which is not helpful in the slightest. I need to make more silk here, please. At least we've got some unemployment. Which will allow us to boost supply. I think what I'll do is put down another silkworm shed because I really need it. Um, so let's go with one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll go with that. Put a roadblock there. And then fill this up with mulberry and get more planted. I want more silk in the city because we're making hardly any money. Yulin regards as more highly good for them. We're 2,000 people in the city, but that's not really um, important because we are still in debt. I hope we can recover our funds in time before we end up getting thrown out. I'll let it run again and come back in if anything important happens. Okay, so looking at our mission goals, I've provided everyone right here with bronze, uh, bronzeware, that's what they were looking for. They needed access to Daoist building to evolve to the impressive compound. As you can see, we've now met that impressive compound goal. So now all I have to do is simply keep giving the gods, um, or a god, loads and loads of expensive items. Um, to get them up to Exalted and then just keep them in the city for a whole 24 months. I could do it over the period of time if I have to. I'm going to give off hemp and then obviously build up the silk supply a bit because we've got one, two, three, four, five farms. There might be, uh, no there isn't any space left because I mean, I've used up most of the space just putting farms down. Um, unfortunately I got a drought which did absolutely nothing. All it did was um, lower some production, even though the production was lowered anyway. Um, we're making loads of money now that these are evolved, and we've got some taxation money as well. Selling off more silk because the silk supply is much more stable. Um, I'm not going to bother providing these guys with ceramics, there's no point. Um, just because there's really no point at all. Let's just see if I delete the right one. Yes, uh, I'll leave that as is. Um, this is almost empty. I'm going to hold festivals for as much as I can. That's not going to actually do anything to improve the god's mood. But I'll come back here where we're nearly at the 24 months goal. Because there's nothing to do. Oh, what's this? Woo demands wood. Rather large amount. Look lively, Super Saduke. Even though you're just an insignificant gnat. Is that right? Nat or Ganat, I don't know. You can help me. I need 16 stacks of wood for a building project in my city of Wu. Send me the items within five months, and I might just think you're a slightly more significant fly. Well, we've got 4, 8, 12. Let's just fill the rest of this with wood. And I'm going to stockpile it so that it gets there quickly. Uh, meanwhile, we have had six months, so I've had a quarter of the period left. Um, so I'll send that wood off to uh, Wu, hopefully in time. 
I hope so. I hope in time. Because I don't want to be late for that. Um, and then we'll just keep working towards that last goal. We're almost at the goal. We've done 22 out of 24 months. I've kept Ruwa in the city pretty much consistently. This was quite a difficult mission. In my opinion, this is more a mission about building a large uh, a moderately sized city in a very tiny space because you don't have much. I think what helps is if you put the common stuff up here like the mill and that and just don't bother with the perfect function. Uh, it's too difficult. Um, I mean you could probably do it but it is far too difficult in my opinion. And of course over the course of this whole mission this mill is still not empty which I find hilarious. Um, but. One month to go, and we'll be finished with this mission and be heading on into the Iron Era, obviously. Um, I only made money through taxation and exportation of goods to one city. I mean, I didn't even bother with that wool trade route at all. Um, I didn't even sell bronze wear because I didn't make it. I didn't sell carved jade at all, which is pretty surprising. I was surprised how I was able to keep myself afloat basically on a little silk and some taxes. I mean, that is, that is pretty good in my opinion. So in a month, when the month changes over, we will finish this mission. Even though Nuwa is now contented, hopefully she sticks around for us to complete the mission. Come on! There we go. Done. Noble Administrator, the insightful guidance you have provided to your citizens and your city has been excellent. Under your tutelage, the city of Ying has grown strong and prosperous. The teachings of Confucius and the way of the Tao are spreading throughout the land. Of course they are. Uh, thanks for watching this video. It might actually be two videos, I'm not sure yet, but you'll find out sooner or later on YouTube. Um, we're headed off to build a section of the Great Wall in the next mission. Something I think most of you will probably be interested in. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video guys. Bye now.